My first impressions back then, I, I, I think the place has changed hugely in that time. Uh, we probably had bigger numbers in the school back then. I don't think sporting wise we were as competitive in around that period. I probably thought the schools maybe because the numbers were that bit bigger might have been a, a little bit less personal. We mightn't have maybe known the students as well as we do now. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think where we are at the moment is a great place for us to be. There's been, there's been some really exciting developments, so I think, I think our, our golf programme is probably one of the most exciting developments, so we, we would hope that due to the indoor golf room and our trackman, um, our trackman simulator, golf simulator, uh, we've got a PGA coach, Bobby King now, working full time in the school. We think that we are going to be a leading, a leading school in golf in Ireland. The appointment of Annie McCara as our athletic development manager, I think probably puts us ahead of, I would believe, all schools in Ireland at the moment in terms of where we had, we're heading with athletic development and, and looking at the pupil, not just as a rugby player or a hurler or an athlete, but that we're looking at them and their development as a whole. So I think that's going to be really exciting over the next few years. Uh, a lot of work done on our video analysis room and on both of our gyms. Plus, we've, we've, we've invested reasonably heavy in, in our technology as well. Our, our, I think our video analyst and our performance analyst, I believe, is one of the best in the country, Michael Harding. Um, and Michael, Michael has a new video analysis lab set up as well. I think it's going to make a huge difference to the, the last 5 or 10% in terms of rounding a player off in all codes. Um, so yeah, look, I, I think they're all, they're all going to be really exciting developments. Then look, there's a lot of work done in our swimming pool. We have a lot of work done in our games room and leisure facilities. We've got our 4G area for two 4G areas and our two 4G hurling alleys. So I think, I think our goal was to try and give the boys something to do from the moment they come into the school to the moment they leave the school from eight in the morning to eight in the evening or 10 in the evening. And I think now they have that. So I think we'll be seeing very few boys on phones or very few lads on technology. I just think it's going to be a real healthy open air space. Uh, I some, look, if, if you were, I suppose winning the Senior Cup was obviously a, a, a big moment in the school's history. I don't know, I don't know myself whether, whether I, I would I often find if, if, if we start looking back and if we, start, if we start celebrating what we've achieved, the biggest of all is probably coming fairly quick. So, so we always, and we generally do always try to look at tomorrow as opposed to looking at yesterday. Um, but look, like there has been some great memories, like winning the All-Ireland Senior Hurling. Like we had, we had a, a relay team with, with four boys. We started in first year two years ago. They went on and won a silver medal in the All-Ireland Relay Final and they were just four friends who came up from first year to, to sixth year. So like that was, that was actually lovely as well. Um, but look, there's, there's kind of little, I suppose there's little memories dotted around every year. The achievements that everyone knows about, everyone is part of. But you know, there's little moments in, in each day or week or month that, you know, I would believe it's, it's probably the best job that anyone could do and uh, I think our coaches love working here. It's just, it's, it's a great school to be in and I think once we keep looking at tomorrow rather than what happened yesterday, I, you know, hopefully we'll have loads more good memories coming in the future. From a sports perspective, look, I, I think our rugby is going to be, we, we've had a couple of quiet years by our standards and that's been very honest. So look, we, we went from a place of being I think we competed in six Leinster League finals senior in a row. Uh, we got to two senior cup finals and then we've had three years where we haven't got past the quarter final. Um, but we've, we've put a lot more time and resources into our coaching over the last, definitely in the last year and now going forward too. Uh, so I, I, would be, I would hope our rugby programme will really see the benefits of that over the next couple of years not going to happen overnight. Uh, I think our, our golf program is going to be really exciting. Uh, Bobby is just a, a, an energetic and enigmatic fellow and, and he's, he's, he's going to treat that golf program like it's a member of his family. 
um, and and, he, and our two strength and conditioning coaches too. Like it's it's um, you're just going to have a lot of people who who just kind of love what they're doing, regardless of where they're doing it or when they're doing it. Love what they're doing, and and I think I think when you have people like that around the college, uh, I think I think you'll you'll see uh, improvements sooner rather than later. Well, look, it's, it, we, we would be very strong on that side. So, you know, everyone comes to the school to get a leave insert. Okay, now, the boys might not know that, but the parents know that. So if somebody is not pulling their weight in the academic department, or if somebody is not pulling their weight on the house side, then they don't get to pull their weight on the sports fields either, no matter what sport it is. So, look, I, I, think, I think there has to be a balance in everything that you're doing in life, um, you know, if you happen to be the best hurler or the best rugby player or the best athlete, uh, that's not going to carry you through alone. So, so you have to have a balance, and I think I think we we uphold that. We work really closely with the academic department, and we work really closely with the house department, and we ensure obviously that it's you know that the individual is rounded. And, and not kind of living off success in one area of their school life. Yeah, I, I, I think definitely. I think, I, think for, I think for both individual and team sports, I think it's going to be huge, a huge, um, I think it's going to be a, a leader in, in Ireland, not, not alone in, in Leinster. Um, like we're the third highest feeder school to Irish underage rugby. So, and, and now I, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I would take a strong guess that we're probably the smallest school in Leinster. And we're the third highest in terms, of, in terms of Irish underage players in the country over the last 10 years, I think it is. Like we, we counted this year, we have 22 players on interprovincial rugby squads going into this summer. So that's from under 18s, 19s and 20s, which, which is a, a fairly impressive return for considering we'd have a senior cup panel of 23 and first and seconds thirds training maybe about 50 boys out there so to consider that nearly half of those will go on and play for a province is great um, but look I suppose getting back to your point in terms of the, the athletic development program is, is about regardless of what you're doing or what level you're at that you can reach your potential so if you're potential is that you want to make the club hurling team that you've never made before, if it's that you want to make an Irish under 20 rugby world cup squad, it, it doesn't really matter, it's just about you know working as hard with the individual as they're prepared to work. So it, you know, if, if, you've, if you've a kid who's ranked 30 out of 30, five years hard work and they certainly won't be ranked there by the time they leave the school, you know, and, and it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter then what they go on and do once they're happy that they're at their full potential. The coaches that are in the school, they're from, there's none of them too far away from the general area. Um, we try, I suppose, to tap into passionate people in their own sport. And look, I suppose our job then is just to steer them on the right path, but to let them enjoy their work and, and to let the lads enjoy working with the coaches. Look, there's, it's not every day is going to be a good day, obviously, and there's, you know, for coaches, teams, parents and, and pupils, there's good and bad days. But um, I, think, I think the end result, when the work is put in, I think the end result is positive 99% of the time. We train twice a week and more, regardless of whether it's the first week or last week of the year, regardless of how well your team is doing in competition. So our whole goal is to send the players back to their clubs as better players. We, we've partnered with Statsport and Avenir, obviously, with GPS and video analysis. So I, I, I think that's starting to benefit the players going forward. Rugby and hurling combined is a, is a choice that a lot of our students make and, and the use of technology is really helpful in terms, of, in terms of player welfare and monitoring what the pupils are doing. 
We've also signed a, a, um, an agreement, a partnership with Metrifit. So um, that's a wellness and wellbeing app. And every student in the school will have access to that going forward from next year. I think, I think our hurlers, like again, our, our goal is to get them back to their club as better players. The, the floodlit 4G alleys, you will see at 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock at night, instead of someone maybe at home sitting on their phone or watching TV, they're out in the alleys playing hurling and look, playing with their friends and just enjoying themselves. So look, I, I think, we, I think we're, really, we're in a really bright space now for where we are with hurling going forward and, and we hope to continue that.